the birds and the bees, and the infections in between. Let's talk about sex, baby. Well, not just the act itself, but the things that can come along with it. The things nobody wants to talk about. STIs. We're all adults here, right? It's time to shed those awkward giggles and embrace the importance of sexual health. Ignoring STIs won't make them go away. In fact, pretending they don't exist can lead to some pretty nasty consequences. So, whether you're a seasoned explorer of the human body, or just starting to navigate the world of intimacy, this guide is your trusty compass. Think of this video as your no-judgment zone for all things STI. We'll cover the basics, debunk some myths, and hopefully, leave you feeling empowered to take control of your sexual well-being. Remember, knowledge is power. Section 2. STIs versus STDs. What's the difference? First things first, let's clear up the confusion. What exactly is an STI? STI stands for Sexually Transmitted Infection. It's like catching a cold, but instead of sneezes, you might experience other symptoms. These infections are passed through sexual contact, which includes vaginal, anal, and oral sex. Now you might be thinking, wait, isn't that the same as an STD? Close, but not quite. You see, STD stands for sexually transmitted disease. The difference is all in the progression. An STI is the initial infection, like a tiny uninvited guest setting up camp in your body. An STD is when that infection develops into a full-blown disease with noticeable symptoms and complications. Think of it like this, an STI is like a seed, and an STD is the fully grown plant. Chapter 3. The usual suspects are who's who of common STIs. Now that we've got the lingo down, let's meet some of the most common players in the STI game. Don't worry, we won't be asking for autographs. First up, we have chlamydia and gonorrhea, the dynamic duo of bacterial infections. They often hang out together, causing mischief in the nether regions. Then there's human papilloma virus, HPV, a virus with many different strains, some of which can lead to cervical cancer. Herpes, another viral guest, likes to make an appearance as painful blisters. Syphilis, a bacterial infection, can have serious long-term effects if left untreated. And lastly, we have HIV, a virus that attacks the immune system. Section 4. Silent but deadly, recognizing the symptoms. So how do you know if you've got an uninvited guest downstairs? Well, that's the tricky part. STIs are sneaky little buggers, and they don't always announce their arrival with flashing lights and sirens. Some STIs, like chlamydia and gonorrhea, might cause symptoms like burning during urination, unusual discharge, or pelvic pain. Others, like herpes, might show up as painful blisters. However, many STIs can be completely asymptomatic, meaning you won't have any noticeable signs at all. That's why regular testing is crucial, even if you feel perfectly fine. Think of it like going to the dentist. You might not feel a cavity, but that doesn't mean it's not there, slowly wreaking havoc on your molars. Chapter 5. The Long and Short of It Understanding the Risks of STIs Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the risks associated with STIs. In the short term, untreated STIs can lead to unpleasant symptoms like pain, discomfort, and those awkward trips to the clinic, but the long-term consequences can be much more serious. Some STIs, if left untreated, can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, increased risk of certain cancers, and even complications during pregnancy. And let's not forget the emotional roller coaster that comes with an STI diagnosis. The stigma, the fear, the anxiety, these can all take a toll on your mental health. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the risks is the first step towards protecting yourself and your partners. Section six, wrap it up, your guide to STI prevention. Now that we've covered the not so fun stuff, Let's talk about the good news. STIs are largely preventable. It's all about taking charge of your sexual health and making responsible choices. First and foremost, let's talk about the MVP of STI prevention condoms. These little latex wonders act like a barrier, preventing the exchange of bodily fluids that can transmit infections. Think of them as raincoats for your nether regions, keeping you dry and protected from unwanted showers. Another powerful tool in our arsenal is vaccination. Vaccines are available for HPV and Hepatitis B, two common STIs. Think of vaccines as your suit of armor, protecting you from these viral invaders. Regular testing is also key, even if you're in a monogamous relationship. 
It's like a routine checkup for your sexual health, ensuring everything is running smoothly. And last but not least, communication is crucial. Talk to your partner or partners about STIs, get tested together, and make informed decisions about your sexual health as a team. Chapter 7. Mythbusters Debunking Common STI Misconceptions It's time to address the elephant in the room, or rather, the myths swirling around STIs like a bad game of telephone. Let's set the record straight, shall we? Myth number one, you can get an STI from a toilet seat. Nope, not happening. STIs are passed through sexual contact, not casual contact like sharing a bathroom. Myth number two, if you don't have symptoms, you don't have an STI. Wrong again. Remember, many STIs are asymptomatic, meaning you can have one without even knowing it. Myth number three, only promiscuous people get STIs. This is a big one and it's completely false. STIs don't discriminate. Anyone who is sexually active can get one, regardless of their relationship status or number of partners. Final thoughts. Don't panic, get tested. Seeking help and breaking the stigma. Suspect you might have an STI. Don't panic. The first step is to see a healthcare professional. They'll ask you about your sexual history, perform a physical exam and possibly take some samples for testing. Testing is usually quick and painless, often involving a urine sample or a swab. It's like taking a quick peek under the hood to make sure everything is running smoothly. Remember, getting tested for STIs is a sign of responsibility, not something to be ashamed of. It shows you care about your health and the well-being of your partner or partners. So, ditch the stigma, arm yourself with knowledge and take control of your sexual health. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again in the next video.